Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Reverend Jordan Thrasher. I serve as the university chaplain. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the annual Veterans Day ceremony at Reinhardt University. Would you all please bow for an invocation this afternoon? Lord, when we come face to face with the enormity of sacrifice, we sometimes lose our voice. The only words, the most appropriate words we can muster to say are thank you. There are those who have served in our military who will get to hear those words, and some whose ultimate sacrifice keeps them from hearing them. We pray that we are constantly reminded for what they sacrificed, for freedom and justice not yet fully achieved, but one step closer because of the sacrifice of the men and women we honor here today. Let us live our thanks to them and to you in whose name we pray. Amen. Now I'd ask you all to please stand for the reciting of our Pledge of Allegiance and the playing of our national anthem. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jamie Palmer, and I'm the student body president here at Reinhardt. And today we have the Cherokee County uh, High School Junior Cadets, and they will be presenting our colors. Would you please recite the Pledge of Allegiance with me? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you please remain standing as we, ha as we have the university concert choir uh, conducted by Dr. Martha Shaw. Please. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Doris Jones, and I'm, I'm the mayor here in the city of Alaska. 
and a warm and sincere welcome to each of you today. On Veterans Day, we honor and salute all Americans who throughout our history have placed their lives on, online for freedom. Veterans Day honors the brave men and women who have served in the armed forces. They have served in the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, and the Coast Guard. American veterans represent all races and ethnic groups. They are men and women that have served their country well. There are 28 million Americans living today that have pr proudly worn our country's military uniform. Some of these veterans are famous and receive a great deal of honors. Most are not. They're average citizens like you and I, and they had a duty that they felt a calling and that left the safety of their homes and families and often led them into hardship. They left the peacetime opportunities and committed themselves to becoming airmen, soldiers, sailors, and Marines. I salute each of them, which I know you do. We live freedom today because of them, and God bless each and every one of them. Thank you, Mary Jones. Uh, my name is Janet Sweeney, and I was in the Army as a broadcast journalist many, many years ago. A lot of people think that wasn't a real job, but they don't know. Now I'm the manager of the bookstore here, and I've been here for three years, and we are all here to celebrate Veterans Day. What I was going to say, Mary Jones already said, and I know that you all really, like I, just want to hear from Master Sergeant Torres. But here's what I want to tell you real quick. Since 1775, over 40 million people have served in the military. Um, chances are you know one who knows somebody who has served, or you might be serving yourself. <clears throat> there are a lot of us in the room right now, and I just want to take a minute. If you have been, or still are, in the military, please stand up right now. Thank you for your time, your service, and your commitment. I always feel weird when people say that to me. So I don't know what the right answer is. I'll just say, you're welcome. Now, I'm going to let Dr. May take over, because there's not much else I can say to talk about anything else. <laughs> We have scheduled to have um, Master Sergeant Torres here today. He was unable to be here with us, unfortunately, last second. But we have a unique opportunity to recognize one of our own here. Um, as you notice, many of our faculty and staff, and even our students and alum, have served, or are currently are serving. Um, right now, I'd like to recognize Captain Ford, who is part of our public safety office. He's going to speak for a little few minutes about being a veteran, about being serving this nation. So please give a warm welcome to Captain Ford. I didn't know I was going to do this. A lot of you may not know I spent 20 years in the Air Force. I was a senior master sergeant with the security police. I had great opportunities in the Air Force. I met my wife in the Air Force. We've been married for 35 years now. I've had my, my son, and I got to go to a lot of places. Some of them a lot nicer than others. A lot of people, when you talk about veterans, everybody thinks about wars. Let me tell you what, it's a lot rougher in peacetime in the military than it is wartime. Because you know what we 
as veterans, as active duty people, we are the last people that want to go to war. We don't join the military for war. I prefer peace all the time. Unfortunately, during my time, the first Persian Gulf War was the one I had to go to. Lost some friends over there. It's, uh, it was rewarding for the fact that we were able to help the people out in Kuwait and everything, but that's not what the military is about. Uh, I was able to further my education. I got my bachelor's degree. I was able to go to a lot of leadership schools in the military. There are a lot of people here right now still serving us in harm's way. Keep them in your prayers. There will be more people going in harm's way, unfortunately. You may have some of your own family over there right now, or could be in the future. As everybody knows, every time you look at the news, there's another hot spot. So keep the veterans in your prayers, past, present, and future. We served and I'm sure everybody that stood up will say they served, they knew what they were doing when they volunteered to go into the military. You may have to lay your life down. That was one of the things we didn't think about all that much. We just went through and did our jobs. And it's not just the people in the military, the families, the kids. Keep them, too, in your mind because they have a hardship when either the mother or father is gone away, the kids have to live every day wondering what's going to happen. The husbands will, I've, I've known a lot of the guys that their spouses, their wives have gone into combat. So it's just not guys like me, it's everybody and you never can tell. Hopefully it never comes to the United States and you have to make the decision what you're going to do. But as Americans, we all know that we stand for freedom. And that's one of the main reasons I went in. Luckily enough, though, I found my wife. So it worked out good for me. But I just want to thank everybody for showing up today. And like I say, keep the veterans and the active duty people in your prayers. And God bless America. Thank you. I would like to close this ceremony with a quote from President Dwight D. Eisenhower, which was made during his 1954 Veterans Day proclamation. Let us solemnly remember the sacrifices of all those who fought so violently on the seas, in the air, on the foreign shores to preserve our heritage of freedom. Let us reconsecrate ourselves to the task of promoting an enduring peace so that those who fought for us have not done so in vain. We are grateful for all those who are serving and who have, who, and who have served. On this day, we thank all our veterans, not just for their service to this country, but for reminding us what integrity, dedication, honor, and sacrifice really mean. Please feel free to gather after the ceremony to thank our veterans here today and enjoy light reception in their honor. Thank you all for coming here today, and God bless our veterans.